the boundaries of decent sports personally conduct verb. She sure is, Vic. It scares me to think what kind of sickos enjoy this unnerving display of senseless brutality. <laughs> about made it completely undetected. didn't notice I had it made to look like me. Well, no sense letting perfectly good cake go to waste. <laughs> now you just sit right there, Sharky, and join us as we celebrate your life! Remember when you were born? in the runt of the litter, but you are always a center of attention. <laughs> I wonder if you recognize this voice, Sharky. That's right, Sharky, it's your mom and dad. <laughs> It's nice to meet all of you, too. Now, let's see if you remember this voice. You were always a rambunctious little guy, Sharky. I remember your favorite game was tag. <laughs> you love to share with the other pups. <laughs> You were always the king of the playground. And snack time was always a chuckle with little Sharky around. That's right, Sharky. It's your puppy preschool teacher, Mrs. Parkington. Hold this for me, will you, sweetie? Oh, uh, sure. It never hurts to help. What is it? Well, just pull on it. <laughs> that was always one of your favorites, wasn't it, Sharky? <laughs> Keyboards might need a little fine tuning. Uh, uh, now let's listen to this, Sharky. Uh, I was just driving along, minding my own business, delivering mail. <laughs> and you bit me for no reason at all. You, you bit me. It hurt. Get him off! Get him off! Each! Oh! Oh! Ouch! I remember you would order stuff from the back of comic books. Ridiculous stuff. Stuff you, you'd never need or use. Just so I delivered and you could bite me. Ow! Hey! Ow! Ooh, you, you bit me all the time! It was horrible! Ah! What's wrong with you? Are you crazy? That's right, Sharky. Say hello to the first mailman you ever bit, Mr. Sidney Eyewanner. Are you nuts? I'm not going in there. That wasn't the agreement. I, I, hey, let me go! Hey! This wasn't part of the deal! You, you said just a voiceover and a new pair of comfortable walking shoes! I... No! No, please! <laughs> I don't believe this! No! <laughs> Boy, what an emotional moment this is for that man. Why, I think he's actually weeping. What a moving reunion. Sharky's whole family is now joining in embracing the mailman. <laughs> I don't believe this! Now, see 
if you recognize this voice. Sharky, when you entered the ranks of the Pup Scouts, you were knee-high to a grasshopper's boxer shorts. Well-bred and from fine shark dog stock, you had heart. <laughs> you quickly learned to spot the enemy and how to deal with it. Awarded more citations than any other camper that summer, you excelled in all aspects of anti-feline training. And you were an outstanding catamaran sailor, too. That's right, Sharky. It's General Dog, your Pup Scout leader. And this is for you, little fella. For me? Well, thanks. Kumbaya. What do I do with it? Hold it out like this. <laughs> I remember that was always one of your favorites, Sharky. <laughs> Well, uh, here's another voice from your past, Sharky. Annabelle, you're on. Huh? Well, Sharky, I know you know who I am, but do you remember where I found you? I was feeling kind of blue that day. Nothing could cheer me up. I was walking by the broken pet store when I thought a pet might cheer me up. I had my heart set on a bird, but when I got there, they were all gone. It was as if something ate them. <laughs> my next choice was a fish. Very easy to take care of and follow orders well. So, I made my way over to the little old fish tank and what do I say? It was the cutest little puppy in there, playing with the little fishies. Graceful and full of fun, I knew I'd found a pet I could love forever. So, I said to the man, how much is that doggy in the aquarium? Okay, Sharky, one last surprise. See if you recognize this voice. Uh, I knew from the second you moved in next door that we'd be friends forever, Sharky. You and me, <laughs> lifelong pals. Sure, we've had our disagreements, and uh, I'm purple, and a cat, and uh, you chase me, and bite me, and uh, right next door, and I have a purple tail, you know? It's me, Sharky, eat the cat. And have I got a surprise for you! Come on! I built it for you, Sharky! Your own birthday fireworks extravaganza! Go on, Sharky, press the button! Something tells me that was a bad thing. Well, uh, happy birthday, Sharky! I, uh, wonder, uh, will, uh, you give me a head start? Oh! <laughs> You know, Sharky, on this, the day of your birth, as we stand here marveling at the precious gift that is our lives, one's thoughts turn to the miracle of someone like Stevie Wonder. Although Stevie Wonder can't see the way we do, he possesses an incredible inner vision that transcends mere eyesight. Through his glorious music, Stevie Wonder can express, reveal to all of us a beauty beyond mere eyesight. Yes, sir, Sharky, Stevie Wonder is truly one of life's greatest treasures. I can see your move, Sharky. <laughs> Oh, really? Well, I was not aware. Sorry. Eek. We now return to the Elmo the Elk Show. Cause he's Elmo! You know, my little brother Timmy had to have an operation. Aww. Yep, he had to have his entire left side removed. Aww. But it's okay, because without his left side, well, uh, he's all right. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we've got a great show today. Zookeeper Ed brought his man-eating Guatemalan bats and, uh... Huh? What? Well, how did they get out? Well, you better find them before... Hey, folks, while we experience this technical difficulty, let's talk about the Metropolis Kittens Hospital. They need donations. Used cat boxes, little bits of string, a patch of ripped up carpet. All donations are welcome and appreciated. Kumbaya, I have all that stuff. I can help those little kittens. It never hurts to help. If only my gift to the kittens had a pretty bow. Hey, I know. Maybe Annabelle has some ribbon. some ribbon right here. I'm sure whomever it belongs to wouldn't mind me borrowing a little to help those orphans at the kitten's hospital. Voila! Hmm, sounded like a noise coming from Sharky's house. Hey, Sharky! I borrowed some ribbon. I thought it might be yours. I hope that's okay. Well, I'm on my way to the kitten's hospital and uh, you look really very cool. Bye! Help out those little orphans at the kittens hospital. It never hurt to help. You can't come in here, this building's condemned. <coughs> All right, okay, look, I'll do anything. Just don't hurt my donut. Please, don't take my donut. No! This ain't no party. This ain't no disco. This ain't no fool in a <coughs> Hey! Huh? Allow me, kids. It's dangerous to chase a ball into the street. You can get hurt. See, kids? I got it. It's right here. Ah! Ah! Here you go, kids. See, if you don't run into the street, no one gets hurt. Boy, this hospital is in bad shape. This is a terrible place for a gutter. Sir, can you tell me where I might drop off my gift for the sick kittens? <coughs> 20th floor? Great. Thank you. <laughs> 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 
Kumbaya, I don't have a card for my gift. Maybe this hospital has a gift shop. I better look. in here. Well, it looks like we finally got the Hubble telescope functioning perfectly, Hank. Should be, Jib. Let's take a look and see what's out there. Hmm. If I didn't know better, I'd say a massive deployment of Zoltarian spacecraft were on their way to destroy Earth, Hank. And it appears they're only minutes away, Jib. We'd better inform the President. Yes, we were wrong, eh? <laughs> That's right, Jib. There's nothing on that screen but the black expanse of space. Who wants lunch? ward of this hospital. Hmm, I'm a little confused. I better take another look at this hospital. Hmm, it says Kitten's Hospital, but... Kitten's Hospital, and it looks like they're dismantling it. Boy, good thing I got out. Somebody could have gotten hurt. Oh well, I'll just go find a new one. It never hurts to keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> 